The 2008 movie Taken depicted human traffickers breaking into a house and dragging away teenage girls to sell them on an overseas black market. But experts know these criminals often use more subtle and strategic methods. That's why the Blue Campaign by the Department of Homeland Security is supporting two new California laws that require awareness training for transit, hotel, and motel workers. These are industries in which employees are most likely to encounter trafficking victims. There are things that everybody should know about how these criminals operate. Mary David is a former prosecutor and U.N. advisor. She joins us this morning with the five common traps used by human traffickers. Good morning to you. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. So the first trap something so simple and maybe you wouldn't even think to begin here what should we know about human traffickers approach to women and girls by telling them that they're beautiful traffickers often tell women and girls that they're beautiful and what they do is they will actually scope out places where women and girls will often hang out mm -hmm. they will go to malls school playgrounds and the movie theater and they'll approach these potential victims and tell them you're beautiful and see how they respond. If the woman or girl responds with a lot of confidence and seems unfazed, they move on. But if she seems uncomfortable with the compliment, if she looks down and can't make eye contact, or if she says, no, I'm not beautiful, then they know that this is someone who they then can manipulate mm. and use as a potential victim. Another trap you talk about is false offers of job opportunities. Yes. Traffickers are increasingly using social media to target women and girls with job opportunities by sending them messages on their photos or sending them direct messages saying, we can find you an opportunity in television, film, and dance. Mm -hmm. And they will often even get these women and girls into a small music video or get them a job at a nightclub and while it may start out as seemingly professional and seemingly just dance it often escalates into mm. commercial sexual exploitation. Mm. This next trap is especially sinister. Human traffickers stepping in as a parental figure. Is that to establish trust and and then they go from there? Yes, that's exactly what happens. Traffickers will actually spend months scoping out a potential victim, and they will determine what their social habits are, who their support networks are, mm. whether they have close relationships with their family members. If they don't, this is someone that they will then, it's called grooming, and they will buy them things like sneakers, they will take them to get their hair and their makeup done, to get their nails done, and create this bond and fill in a gap that often a family member like mm. a mother or a father would often fill. And this is a void that children are so often hungry for. And so to be recognized in that way, it makes it so much easier for them to then establish loyalty and trust to this trafficker who then completely uses it mm. to manipulate them. With so many people using online methods to sort of find companionships, a yeah. boyfriend, a girlfriend, um, you say that some some of these traffickers pose as a potential boyfriend. Absolutely. Increasingly, social media apps like WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Instagram are being used by traffickers to send out messages to women and girls that seem harmless at first. They will just tell them that, that they're beautiful. They will just strike up conversations with them. And over time, it's easy for someone to feel like they know this person even though they really don't know them at all. They're just hiding behind a screen and it's a stranger. But by establishing these, this contact through social media, which then can ramp up to phone calls and then finally an in-person meeting, they already feel like they have this connection and they have a relationship with this person. And then what happens is they then say, you know, once they actually get close and do start dating you know I'm really short on money just one time will you do this for me one time I'm only asking you because I I feel so bad to do this but I trust you mm -hmm. and I know that you love me yeah. and it's never just one wow. time right once again Mary David a former prosecutor and anti-sexual exploitation advocate travels around the country speaking to groups and raising awareness about human trafficking Mary thank you for coming thank in this you. morning Thanks.